Welcome to the spoken tutorial on move instruction. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of move instruction. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system LD Micro. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of one shot and arithmetic instruction. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Move instruction copies the value of the source variable to the destination variable. Let us see the working of move instruction in LD Micro. Open LD Micro. We will create a virtual counter in this tutorial. Please follow the steps as shown here. First, insert a contact. To the right of it, insert an OSR. Next, insert add instruction to the right of OSR. Rename the contact as switch. Double click on the add instruction. Set the destination and first operand to V counter. V counter means virtual counter. Second operand is by default 1. Don't change it. Click the OK button. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, Click simulate and then non simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Observe the state of X switch and V counter in the IO list. Initially, the state of X switch and V counter are 0. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe the state of V counter changes from 0 to 1. Change the state of X switch to 0. Again, change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe the state of V counter changes to 2. This means that V counter has the count of number of switch presses. Just like a counter which tracks the number of switch presses. What if we want to reset the count? Let us see. How to reset this count value? Turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Insert a rung below as shown. Next, we have to insert a contact and move instruction in the new rung. For that, Place the cursor in the new rung. Click on instructions and then insert contact. Place the cursor to the right of the contact. Click on instructions and then insert move. Rename the contact as reset. Double click on the move instruction. Set the destination variable as V counter and Source variable as 0. Again, start real time simulation as shown. Increase the count value, that is, the value of V counter to 2. It can be done by changing the state of X switch from 0 to 1 for 2 times. Now, change the state of X reset to 1. We can observe the value of V counter changes to 0. Just like resetting a counter. Thus, move instruction copies the value of source to destination variable. Remember that source can be a variable too. Turn off the simulation mode as shown. Save the ladder diagram as move.ld This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. 
In this tutorial, we learned about working of move instruction. Here are some self-assessment questions for you. First, destination can be either a variable or a constant, true or false. Second, source can be either a variable or a constant, true or false. Now, let us look at the answers. The answer to the first question is false. The answer to the second question is true. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, Please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project. IIT Bombay and this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.